All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only. How all my adventures doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Fantasia. So, I have been taking quite a little bit of a break in the game. Every time I get home, I'm just like very tired and I immediately go to sleep. So, I've been making it like a thing to just full on record as soon as the weekend starts. But I found the uh, opportunity to do it in the morning now. Even though I'll probably have to do like part one, part two record session when it comes to doing it in the morning, because I'm not sure if I'll, you know, have enough time before I get ready for work. Who knows? But uh, we are in Oblivion Border at level 72. Yes, yes. Now we just got to collect all of our quests. We could be on our way. I've ran into a repeat quest yet. So is this a repeat quest? Yep, it was a repeat quest. But we are currently in the yellow on our quest, which is great. I'm going to hide off all those. Uh, so we do have 13 quests right now. That's my second alarm. <laughs> hmm. I guess we'll do all level 70 quests just so we can not get hit out of the range again. <laughs> so what are we going to do first? So we have those. Enemies there. Enemies there. I guess we'll do what we did last time. And that's fully go through all of them. Then we turn back and turn them in. Not sure how long this is going to take. Hopefully it just takes like at least an hour. I don't want it to like flood into like, hey, you have like a few seconds to get ready for work <laughs> type of ordeal. But yep, yep, yep. Oh, nice to drop one of these. I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum of, of like <laughs> ranting when it comes to Grand. When it comes to Grand Fantasia. I'm going to try, you know. Oh, okay. So that's just kill five? That's actually a very lenient um, quest. Okay, I was told to use the gun instead. But I'm not sure if most people realize that the class changes came, the remade, well, the rework has started. And a lot of weapons have changed. I mean, I don't mind it. It's just that when it comes to, like, safety, the bow has a lot more safety now. You can use it up, up front and... Well, normally... <sighs> Reputation has this really annoying system that, you know, quite a lot of few games have. Not every MMO has it, but they have the whole range thing. If an enemy is in melee range, you cannot use any of your range weapons, even though it is your bread and butter type of, type of skills. It is the main way you do damage and you barely have any melee skills unless you are an assassin which is going to be the opposite you are skilled inside of melee range instead of ranged and it sucks to you know be in that position <laughs> because you have to build movement speed to be able to, to outrange them or use other skills that you know create a gap but those gaps don't exist later in the game because monsters will have way way more movement speed like their movement speed is chaotic to where it's like good luck <laughs> you can't really outrun me type of situation you know which like i said it sucks
keep forgetting that that's like low response. So this is not an item. Oh, it's the ocean. Also makes me think is does the um, firearm have any any AOEs? I haven't seen any as of yet. Let's be it. I hate these things in my inventory. That gives five gold for killing ten of those enemies. That's actually very, very good. Alright, next quest. Oh, it gives de decent XP too. Huh. Not a whole bunch, but decent. So repeat quests are becoming more... Are becoming more, um... Of a staple in a game. Depending on your kill speed, to be honest. Our kill speed isn't very high, even with a plus 10 weapon. Funny enough. Unless we're getting crits, that's the only other way, is if we're getting crits. I would really like to play into, you know, these. But I normally don't max these into, like, Burning Kazlau. So, like, level 90, I normally go full-on in them. That's just literally my playstyle. Wait, what am I looking for? I'm looking for corpse dogs, not those. I think they're spawn right here, but rarely see them. Those are corrupted dogs. Those are corpse hounds. There they are. Hey, did the shadow realm with the. Yeah, good damage. Just spacing is a nightmare when it comes to dungeons. Apparently dungeons just really don't like personal space. Jesus Christ, the low response. Huh. I will say that this, the uh, corpse hounds really aren't corpsing out here. Oh, there they are. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is gonna be one of those annoying, like, drop quests. To where there's not enough mobs and there's a pretty much 50 50 chance of the item you're looking for dropping oh wow they didn't even respawn over here did they okay no there's one they didn't drop my item though it's crazy I need one more. Please drop it. You see, I don't understand gravitation's like distance. If you're on a slope, the slope changes your range. But it also makes the character want to go forward into like it's I don't know. It's it's weird. Like I also 
like thought about this when I was playing my druid and we had our like 16 meter AoE that they took away from us. It height distance is very weird in Grand Fantasia. I don't I'm not sure why it interacts that way. It's like why the hell would you put like height advantages in the whole game? I'm not sure. Because your characters are act actually very, very weird when it comes to that. I also don't like when my character just runs forward when he's in, when he's clearly at the max range of his shot. I never understood that either. God damn it! I'm already I'm already raining. <laughs> I'll stop. I promise I'll I'll stop sooner or later. Type shit. <laughs> How was this? No, oh, scroll. Man, that damage is good. It's just, like I said, it's just literally trying to run away from the enemy, especially trying to outrun a boss. Trying to outrun the boss is like nightmare. Yeah, that's pretty much why I say that, uh... Hmm. But yeah, that's pretty much why I say that, um... Firearms seem more team-based, while Archer just seems a lot more lenient. When it comes to, like, PvE. Well, solo PvE. So it's a lot easier to kill. It's a lot faster and responsive. For some reason, the gun doesn't feel that responsive. Maybe that's just me. Where is... Oh, there's one. Half tainted. Get that one dropped. Okay, next is all the way down there. Oh, I didn't even check my mailbox, too. Because I see that I have stuff from auction. Oh, no. The item got sent back. I totally forgot. I took a break. After I sent that item. <laughs> no. Wasn't it like three gold to send that item. And I totally forgot about it. Shit. I sent that uh, quest book. That I couldn't use on his character. Because I wasn't doing like the. Um, the quills. Because I plan on doing the quill. After uh, reincarnation. Just for the little extra XP. Dang it. You know what? It bees like that type shit, you know? It bees like that.
But yeah, let's go get uh, whatever's in the auction. It's actually funny. This is still going on. It still has like one hour. That's actually... This is actually amazing. I wonder if you can actually craft this. If you can actually cook it at your Sprite Island, that would be actually amazing. I wonder if you can cook like a way better one too. Because just imagine. Oh, it didn't register my clicks. Now I'm going to turn in my quest. Just in here to grab all of me stuff. Let's see. Okay, so this is the only thing that did not sell because nobody needs it. Ah, and ah, okay, that actually so nice. Wait, I thought that item got sent back. Wait, did it not get sent back? It's saying it got sent back. Ooh, I think the game might be glitched. Oh no, there it is. We got sent back like wows ago. Damn it. Okay, it wasn't three. It was just ten. Okay, good, 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 good. And we send it back. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll remember to grab it this time, you know? Maybe. But that puts us in like good gold territory. Now that um, quests have been upgraded up until like low 85, it's so much easier just to level by doing quests now. It's actually amazing. So if you were to actually to duo with somebody, you guys would actually get through like so much of the game all the way towards end game. It would be actually a lot faster and easier than what we're currently doing. Plus, if you guys wanted to take a break and do a whole bunch of repeat quests too, well, defeat quick, yeah, defeat um, repeat quests. That would actually be a lot easier now to do now. <laughs> to do, my brain right now is fried apparently. <laughs> but yeah, it would be a lot easier to do now. Oh yeah, we don't do half of the damage as the... Well, we do half of the damage of a firearm. It's just that... Firearm movement is not a not much of fun. <laughs> firearm skills are like very, very damage heavy, as I thought. So I was going to say this, man. A, hey, if you... Uh, if you plan on playing... Gravitage's like Ranger class. Have a friend. It's it's a lot more easier that way. You get maximum damage out of it. I say the best duo with like Archer I can say would probably be um something that can something that can gain a lot of malice. Which will be Mechmaster, actually. Mechmaster would be able to just straight up taunt. I wouldn't really rely on, um... Oh, your dummies taunt, to be honest. Because that thing dies super easily and it has a low uptime. So you really don't get the... Feel like you get the most out of it. That's at least how I feel right now. Maybe other people feel different.
Tinder meat? Is that a request? Nah, that's just dish. Just the dish. Okay, this is gonna. Oh no, I'm attacking the wrong thing. I thought thought this had the last one on it. <laughs> I'm blind. Don't worry about it. If he's like that sometimes. Okay, let's go to the priest. Yeah, we got to grab auto quests that are over there. After all this. How many like chain quests do we have? One, two, three. So we only have three chain quests. So if I take this off, put this on, where are they? Oh, they're all, they're all the way up there. I might as well just go up here and grab those. Yeah, this might actually take a lot longer <laughs> than I thought. Because of travel time. There we go, Windwalker. It does kind of make me curious why they nerfed a whole bunch of like duration abilities and felt like five seconds three to five seconds was enough considering their animations take very very long to where you would only have time for one or two skills I don't know, that bothers me a lot. I hope I hope um private servers have more generous buffs. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Well, more generous buff timers. So I feel like that's that's just weird, right? Or is that just me? That's just very weird that those durations like I wouldn't even mind 10 seconds. But mostly everything is below five seconds now. I guess that's just me. Maybe I'm the weird one. Well, I guess they are relying on like gears. But it's like this. Once you get out of that gear territory, you know that that weapons that gear set can only do so much for you. Then you have to change out gear to go to a different one. It it's it only does so much, which is weird because quick reflexes is great. It is fantastic to have. But it's 3.5 seconds. You'll barely see yourself using it early. Unless you get that gear. So does it just I wonder if it gets better. Let's see. Then it goes to four seconds and it stops at four seconds. Oh, it reduces all damage taken, gives 100% evasion, and your immune stuns. But how would you be able to tell if a stun is coming up, though? To be... to just throw that on? I say there's no indication that the boss is just going to be like, okay, now I'm going to stun you. How would that be a beneficial situation 
considering the fact that every boss has a chance of using this skill. There's no like actual known pattern to where they're just going to be like, you know what, I'm going to use this. Because there's a chance the boss will do like a whole fight without doing a certain threshold HP mechanic. So I'm just curious of how how we're setting this up. Because there's no like indication of just like oh Oh, stun, stun it coming. It's like, okay. It's like as soon as I use it, as soon as the buff duration goes down, boom, hey, you're stunned again. Hope you had fun. <laughs> and for what I'm seeing from that gear set, I think it only increases for two seconds. So if you had that gear set at level 100, I wouldn't even know why the fuck you would have that at level 100. But at level 100, it would just be like, it would just be like six seconds. So basically you would have you would have to have enough DPS to ignore that. Is that fair to say? It's kind of what I'm guessing it is. They want you to have like a huge bunch of, bunch of DPS. But that DPS doesn't really help too much because, like I said, spacing. You're going to use most of your time spacing for Archer. And all that time spacing for Archer is going to get you like in a seriously bad situation, honestly. We can go here and grab these quests while we're at it. But... What I'm saying is, I pop this, I start attacking, then I have to run away. It's like, at that time, what am I getting out of this? Like, it's good if, you know, if I have an extra teammate, I guess. I, I guess? But no, it wouldn't even be that. That's the weird part. It wouldn't even be that. Huh. I'm trying to see their, their like thought process on this. Because it puts us in kind of like very awkward situations, considering that those timers run down really fast. And you actually like see them go down like very quickly. Oh, I, it's a carrying quest. Uh, oh, this is filling up my inventory again, along with the stupid fin. Looking for the compass for some reason. Okay, so we have those quests. We can go ahead and turn these other ones in. Um, so we got. Oh shit! We picked up a little second quest there. Well, a repeat quest. Uh, the rest of these are repeats. So we have four repeat. Well, chain quests. Which is fine. We'll probably have to come back and do the rest of those. I'm just gonna remind myself to sell a lot of stuff. Especially all these uh white gears I've picked up. Oh, I thought they were white gears, never mind. I think they're not. These are gears I got from the dungeon. Oh, there's some green ones did. I didn't sell these, but every other armor I sold, thankfully, for like three to four gold.
Dungeon Armor doesn't really go that high, to be honest. Unless it's like a really, really good stats to where it has like... Where it is it? Like triple stats on it. Like you guys see that? Well, if it has triple blue text and they're all the blue text are like really good. Then, yeah, it's it can go really... Well, not really high. It can probably go up to like 10 gold. For whatever range you're at right now. I would say for like 60 gear, I normally keep it around like 3 or 4. If it's like a really good gear around like level 60, it normally goes for like 8 or 10. So I'd say level 80 would be like five to six gold. I either sell it for, I guess, 12, somewhere between like 12 to 14 gold if it's like really good. Because dungeon gear can be gotten like very easily. I mean, there's nothing special to it, honestly. Uh, where is that merchant? Oh, there you are. Wait, what? Thought that was like some weird quest armor or something. This is why I wish there was like a unique color for like dungeon gear, man. But that's just me, man. I just wish there was like, you know, dungeon gear was extended to something. I can get rid of those. Well, actually, I could keep these because a re-level whenever I reincarnate. Hmm. Damn. That means I have to go to my auction and <sighs> I gotta go to auction. Well, not auction, to my uh, mill bank. My bank. I redo a lot of things. Man, this is actually annoying. <laughs> I have so many things I gotta go backtrack and do. Throw this on, throw that on. Oh, oh, never mind. Does this level us? Up, oh, it's. Hold on, it's it's glitching. It might. There we go. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I was sitting here like maybe we can turn these off because those are level seventy ones. A little more than likely level. As we're doing these. Yeah, with that much XP, yeah, we might level. I have to keep my eye on the uh, on the uh, time to see if I have to uh, stop and make a part two. Then when I get from work, I gotta get back into my commentary, you know. <laughs> Oh, do we need eggs? Yeah, we need the eggs. I wish the eggs had names above them. Wow. Okay. The servers are dying. Jesus Christ. That was like maximum latency for that. 
for that egg to come out. And there wasn't even the update or maintenance. What is going on? Hopefully most of you uh, private servers have good servers going on. <laughs> and none of this is going on. Because <laughs> I'm going to put that on my checklist as well. Good server stability. That is going on the list of things to look at. What I'm going to be looking at is your characters. Oh, well, I'm going to be looking at all the different abilities. If it's the same as Grand, uh, Grand Vantage's official server, we're going to be comparing a lot of things. I'm making a whole list. How easy is your progression? How more lenient you are with quest rewards? Is your quest rewards like actually progressing somebody? And keeping them up to date. Is gold still heavy? Is your auction house handled a lot different? Stuff like that. So I'm keeping an eye out. Just to understand what every server is doing different. Like I said. That is the maximum thing I can keep my eye out on seeing what server is doing stuff different. Is reflect damage still heavy in late game? <laughs> That's definitely something I want to know. <laughs> is heavy damage, well, is reflecting damage affected by defense? That's something that should have happened instead of reflecting damage just being based on redu damage reduction. Because it would make sense if it versus defense as well instead of just damage reduction. Because damage reduction is a form of defense. I don't know. That just never made sense to me why... Why... I just don't understand why Reflect doesn't isn't affected by physical defense or magic defense, whichever one is aimed towards. This is an odd choice to me. Like I said, maybe I'm just weird. Who knows? Maybe I'm just a weird person here. Could just be me, dude. Could just be me. But well, we're going to be uh, level 73 in this area. It's only funny because we're basically caught up to our to the level of this area. I would think I'd be still getting two levels above the area, but nah, XP seems to die down pretty heavily at this point now. Okay. We got that, we got that. Now we gotta go all over here. So what other quests do we have as well? So we also gotta go up there and fight those before we start turning in everything. Then we gotta go... Get those. What the hell is that treasure? I mean, we're on the way there. We might as well go grab it. I was thinking we would level by uh, mobs by now, but nope, that doesn't seem to be the case. I guess since we're getting to level uh, 85, XP is going to start dying down quite a bit. I think that's one of my guild members, funny enough. I'm going to be looking at your uh, gear sets as well to see if you do gear sets different. Do 
if gear sets were like amazing or if they're terrible. Gonna be looking at how you guys do uh crafting as well. Basically I'm gonna see how how friend free to play friendly your game is. How much more understandable it is too. The hell am I being chased? Is that why I can't mount up again? Oh yeah, I was. Okay, we go here. Oh god, we have to go all the way around because that is an opening. Ugh. Ugh, dude, really? I really did? What the fuck? Have twenty eight transport stones. Yeah, my character really wanted to go that way. <laughs> He's just like, you know, we're let's take a shortcut. It's just like, no, nah, no, no. You know, I never look at the name of these areas. You have Beast Slayer Road. You have White Bear Lair. Some of these, some of these names are kind of bars, you know. Island of all evils. <laughs> Remember that you does have like a lot of creative names. Some of them are like um, references. Funny enough, it's actually quite a bit of references if you actually like pay attention to the quests and everything. I stopped paying attention to the quests, honestly. It's just like, oh, you gave me a quest. I know what to do. I'm just going to take it there. <laughs> That's pretty much like 90% of every Grand Fortasia player. It's just like, oh, quest. Got to Do that. All right. <laughs> Say less. I'm not paying attention to the story. That's actually a lot of gamers now. <laughs> it's funny enough, too. Is there something inside of uh, original that you take me for? Oh, that, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. If you can't do, um, well, those, two, oh, those two are on the table. He's probably aiming for this. This, this table is very goat heavy. I think 1,013, no, 1,350 gold is like a full stack, if I remember correctly, of a uh, normal clay you get from the um, alchemist alchemist NPC. I think I, I think so, because I used to use that table a lot to get like n new things, especially if uh, that lion showed up. If that lion showed up, dude, I would be grabbing that immediately. But you guys also know, I told you guys to grab like a stack of those uh, dungeon powers and sell them. You guys can see that they actually sell. Depending on what dungeon you do, they actually sell. So, go out there, farm that dungeon over and over again until you get like a full stack. It's probably like three runs if you pick up everything. Three runs of the dungeon if you pick up everything. Especially Sunken uh, Sunken Fortress, since Sunken Mechanical Fortress has like a whole bunch of enemies that have like a good drop drop trend, drop chance. <laughs> I say if you want to go down that route, very easy. Grab a whole stack, sell it for two thousand. Boom! There you go. You have gold because reputation is heavy in this game. And what I mean heavy is is built in heavy. And people will grab it. Easy. Especially like dungeon powers. Dungeon powers are like very, very much better than, you know, the green. Because the difference between, you know, this green power, it only gives me like, I think, 10. Why this gives me like 50 per like 10 stacks. No, I think if you turn it in, it gives you... Hmm. 
let's just say this one gives lower reputation than this would. This gives a lot more reputation. That's why a lot of players are going to go for the blue powers more other than the green power. The green power still sell for quite a lot, to be honest, if you can get a full stack of it. You can still sell those for like 2000 I'd say normally the the blue ones would sell for a lot more. But I normally keep mines at 2000 because it's all reputation. Just if you want to get sold fast. If you want it so fast, doesn't matter. Best way to do it. What is this? Nothing I can use. But can sell. Okay, now I'm just killing stuff. <laughs> At least I think so. Am I done? Okay, yeah. I gotta go up to the pirates now. That could start turning everything in. Are you guys proud of me? I've stopped ranting. Let me know if you guys enjoy my rants or just don't. <laughs> I know quite a lot of people don't probably don't agree with what I say most of the time, which is, you know, fine. Hey, dude, make a counter argument. Argue with me. I, I don't mind arguing over something or talking it out. I, was like, I would prefer to get people's point of view on like certain things that I say. Because once we like talk out all the systems and everything, that's just perfect. Because then I, I will have a change of mind and maybe you'll have a change of mind. It just sounds more interesting that way. Because maybe you play the game different from other people. Especially since I already talked to somebody who has PvP'd a lot. A lot more than um, have done to in-game stuff. Like actual in-game stuff. As a PvP gear is fucking strong. I will say that. PvP gear is very, very strong. Oh, nice. Oh, is this a dungeon? This is, this is a dungeon, I think. Oh, no, this is... Oh, the main quest opens up at level 70, uh, 75. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. So level 75, main quest opens up. This will start taking you places. But, um, what was I talking about? But yeah, PvP gear. It is usable inside of PvE and is actually like really good. Actually like really good in-game gear. Actually that's how most most players use it. But if you aren't interested in PvP, I wouldn't worry about it. You'll it'll probably be more gold heavy <laughs> if you don't get it. But you're still gonna have to raise that gear. It doesn't start off at plus twenty. You're still going to have to raise the hell out of that gear. Oh, I thought I brought you back out. And that gear is going to cost quite a bit of gold. The only issue is I wish that if you did pvp they would offer like a gold a gold reward too because that would make me want to do pvp a lot more especially if they're offering gold i say like, if those fuckers are offering gold motherfucker you'll see me in pvp pretty much every day you guys would actually see pvp videos and me getting destroyed but it doesn't matter bro i'm getting points <laughs> Like I say, it just makes sense to get gold offer or gold bars from PvP or something like very high gold worth. 
and not have it be the highest source of points. That's for damn sure. Because I feel like if I say that, the devs are going to be like, you know what? Sell it at a high price. It's, it's gold, motherfucker. It better be the lowest pointed thing in there. <laughs> Plus, I'm, I, if I remember correctly, they do sell uh, PvP potions. But I think those PvP, like, consumables are only used in PvP. If they were used outside of it. That could actually be good. Who knows? A lot of people make PvP dedicated characters. Like they will make like a whole new account and make that all PvP dedicated. I haven't done PvP since like hmm. How old is my account? Damn, I can't even look at area games because they don't need well it's not even area game anymore. It's fucking glyph. <laughs> Glyph got rid of all people's uh, area game accounts, so you can't really see what you have available anymore, or how long you played, because I think my account was made in like 2012, is what I want to say. Probably earlier than that. Somewhere around that. Somewhere around that. I'm also gauging your game on how fun it is. How fun it is. How strong the player feels. Those those are things that I have to keep track of, you know. Is it more soloable? Is it more teamable? It's just going to be interesting that way. Because from my perspective, dude, MMO shouldn't be, like, extremely, extremely difficult. <laughs> you should be able to just coordinate with your team, deal damage, go to the next phase, not have to worry about reflection damage killing you. You know, there should be, like, actual cool phases. Because I know a lot of you guys have been doing, like, some really interesting things, considering I've seen, like, trailer videos of you guys showing off like teasers of your servers so i kind of have a little bit of a list if you guys want me to try out your server as soon as i'm done with this series at level 100 let me know so i can put it on a list let me know the name of it because i probably don't know every last server and i don't know if your server will be up by the time i even get done with this journey but you know i'm here for a long run honestly I plan on trying to give every last server at least two weeks or a month. Who knows? It really depends. Then at the end of the month, I give like a feedback. Who knows? Maybe I could just be like, this is the best private server. Maybe at the end of the year, I'll do that. Just like the best private server now. Oh, uh, let's see. So we have a few more quests available. It is almost time for me to go to work. So I'm going to make a part two. Fuck yeah. Let's do a part two. Let's not like risk me <laughs> playing a little bit too much because like I said, I enjoy the official one. I'm happy it's getting updates again. I say I ain't too mad at it. Hopefully they start, you know, opening their eyes. And actually start working to more of a free to play model as well, just to get more free to players in. Because like I said, without free to play players, there is no wells. Because you start losing social. If those don't have people to talk to, that's that game does not last long. 
This is from experience from playing a lot of MMOs. I say I may solo the game, but I actually play with other guilds. Depends on that guild, to be honest. I have trust issues with a lot of guilds, so I always have to look into them before I actually like commit. Yep, then you start opening up. Like I said, go to the, go to your uh well, I didn't say this, but go to your vendors as soon as you start getting to a high reputation point, especially if you reincarnate. If you reincarnate, make sure to go to the shop owners because they'll have like exclusive uh boosts. Wait, how how much are they? Okay, they're actually pretty cheap, depend well. Yeah, they're pretty cheap for whatever you're at, to be honest. When you reincarnate, buy one of these. I would recommend buying pack one more than anything. Unless you want to risk pack three. That's fine. I mean, they're all go, they all go down for 12. Well. This one says an hour. But I think once you purchase them and use them, I think it's 24 hours until you can use another one. Who knows? But, yeah. Just a little bit of things to think about. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and head out. I will see you guys after work. And I will finish the video. When I wake up. <laughs> but then, uh, yeah, with that said, until then, peace out. We have the main quest soon, too. Nice. Hi, we're back. It's the next day, by the way. <laughs> I came home, went straight to sleep. I, I'm sorry. I was going to finish this video out, but then I, I was just like, you know what? I'm tired. Talk with the family a little bit, then sleep. <laughs> Not, and the sad part is I've been up through most of the night anyway. I still have a little bit of energy. So now uh, let's go ahead and finish this up. I might do another area. Might. Or I might. Do another video tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe. I do know I got to finish this up before uh, it's time for me to stream tonight. And play some um, Grand Blue Fantasy or Power World. Whichever one comes first. Wait, why am I killing the crabs? Hold on. Doggos are first. Got to get back in my camp commentary pants. How many, um... Okay, yeah, we're at 80. 88. Mm, let's kill some of the hounds again. Wait, are the hounds not going to drop items? Oh no, are they going to be rare drops? Please don't be rare drops. That's going to be so annoying. Oh no, what are the rates of these? Hmm. They don't really drop anything like extremely good. Well, this one drops relic, but that's useless for me, honestly. I'd say that would be useful if I went down the assassin route. But I did not. No, I have to play Demon Dog Slaughter. Oh yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. Ooh, I have a lot of animes that are coming out on Saturday. I think I normally have like five different animes I have to watch. 
I'm not going to spoil anything. But I am looking forward to solo leveling tomorrow. Mm, that has been getting so good. Cannot wait for next episode. I'm actually, I'm actually surprised how well they're doing it, to be honest. I thought somebody was going to screw up solo leveling. Uh, yeah, then Blue Lock comes back uh, this year as well. Well, apparently this year. Man, that's what I'm really looking forward to. I'm really hoping it gets under a new studio that does Blue Lock justice. Especially with how I've seen their panels look. Mm. Those manga panels are like... Really damn good. Anywho, enough anime talk. Enough anime uh, talk. No. Um, okay, so which ones do I need? The corrupted dogs? They're the blue ones, right? The blue skin ones. Uh, yeah, they are the blue skin ones. You gotta remember, I like this gun for speed. I like any weapon with uh, attack speed on it, personally. Huh. That's interesting. So, uh, Rapid Fire has a delay on it. But I can spam Tainted Shot when I'm in here. But Rapid Fire has, like, a massive delay on it. So it's not affected by, uh, attack speed. If it is, it's, it's not very noticeable. Huh. Okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That was a huge delay. What is going on? Okay, I'm not the only one who realized that that was a huge delay. Because I just stopped targeting him, walked away. And I've been pressed, pressed that. Okay. Interesting. Interesting things are going on here. <laughs> Wow, those are some amazing seeds that are about to get out of my inventory. Put that in now. Okay, we're heading back to the pirate trap. Those soldiers. Okay, so you have to ramp it up first. That's what it is. Wait, did I attack him? I did, apparently. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just better just to use the first attack. Well, my uh, tainted shot or poison strike, apparently. Yeah, it's poison strike now. I guess rapid fire is good just because of the double hit chance and plus a thousand deals a thousand. But I ain't spamming it and it's so slow. Yeah, it's it has such a slow startup. Why is that? Damn, that was actually a lot of damage. Well, our piercing is definitely nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. <laughs> I guess I really just don't like rapid fire. Well, I guess I can initiate with rapid fire, then switch to tainted. Or start with tape, tainted, then switch to rapid fire. Nah, starting with rapid fire, then tainted is a lot better. Like switching butt between them. Seems a lot better. Plus, like I said, I gotta, I gotta get like distance away from them to be able to use like skills. Why an archer? I don't have to worry about distance because I have a uh, meter. So it really depends on like situational things of what you would use firearm and or bow. So I'm guessing the fire, well, the red ones. Yeah, the real ones. Uh, what about these? Do I need anything for those? No, nah, doesn't like it. The fuck? Oh. Okay, I was about to say, was that a mount or a freaking weapon? Okay. Because at first my brain saw club, but it was actually cub. That, that threw me off. How the hell do you get a cub out of this? So I bring it back to the cave, huh? I guess this gives me an achievement. Oh, shit. Open this, yeah. You no, know it's funny. I would be very, very strong if I was assassin right now. Well, I wouldn't say very strong because, yeah, I wouldn't be like extremely strong, but I would actually be doing a lot more damage, a lot easier. I got to do up here. Oh, there it is. That could be interrupted. Got to remember that. I didn't steal the bear. That's an achievement. But yeah, if you guys are ever achievement hungry, 
That's one thing to do. <laughs> Just pick up random quests. Honestly, um, if you are Achievement Hound, just scroll all the way down here. And Trivia. Trivia has all of your missions you need to know. Just because I think that just, yeah, that sends me a trivia. It doesn't really tell you what area you get them in. That's the issue. You just kind of have to sort them out for yourself. They only get like two points, so it's nothing really all that special. But if you're desperate for those two points, there you go. So we're going down here now, right? Cut up auto auto movement is kinda spoofing itself. There you go. Not with twenty percent movements twenty percent movement speed we should be good. I don't think we got anything else that scores movement speed, did we? The thing is, if it's a boss that doesn't just stun me or anything, evasion is the way to go. But if it is, but if it's a boss that has a stun, defense is the way to go. There's a lot of changing out situations, basically, when it comes to that. Just things I have to like prepare for. Honestly, this is good, too, for, like, loot drop. I mean, I can afford to lose 5%, to be honest. I think right now, my goal is to just to get to level 100. Now, I say dungeons are one thing, but... Level 100 is the goal just because of the the payoff of reincarnation. I think that's just going to be the main goal I'm working towards from now on. Yeah, I have a hundred now. Nice. I can also keep track of it right here, though. If I just put it on here, I can keep track of how much I have. Then I can just uh, sell it when I have enough. Not sure how far. Well, no. I was about to say, I'm not sure how far that altar like stretches. I don't think there's an altar here. I don't think there's an altar here. So I think this whole big area up here is Eternal Mountain altar territory. So I can continue saving up, honestly. Oh, I don't know why the game target down to that. Okay, it bothers, it does start to bother me that rapid fire takes a while to start up. It's like it's thinking for some reason. But with this skill, I could just spam that, go to the next. Spam that, go to the next. Like why is why is uh attack speed not affecting that? K 
Okay, now it is. Is it just random or is my character just like at a weird slope to where it just starts processing it? Okay, no, there it is. There it is again. Is it because... Is it because Desperado is changing? Is that what it is? Could that be it? I don't know. It just seems weird. It's confusing the hell out of me now. <laughs> I will say that. It's definitely confusing the hell out of me. Yeah, okay, let's go turn it whatever's closest. We'll just go around this way, then go all the way around. Well, damn, that's not closest. You're technically closest. Then we'll go all the way around. And so there's also another thing you can do to get like OP items too from people is it's not through getting magic clay and doing table instead of doing table go through dungeons like this is a strategy oh what the hell oh, all these are separate but anyway go through dungeons get a whole bunch of powers sell them then instantly buy any clay you see inside of the auction house. As long as it's not overpriced. Last I checked, each piece goes for at least 1,700. That's at least where I last saw it. It shouldn't be any higher than that because there's no reason to increase the value of it randomly. But then again, buying clay inside of... Uh, trading as well also works most people would sell it for well most people would buy it for 1.3k so a thousand and three hundred most people would buy it for a thousand five hundred for what i used to see inside of auction so if you guys want to do it that way as well which is the easiest way there you go how much longer does this have? 10? Oh, shit. What's this stuff? Is that a combat mount? Ah, oh, it is. That is a combat mount. Sag. I don't have one of those. Well, I technically do have one of those, but I can't use it. Can't use it for this series. Write that in. All right. That will go to you. Then we curve all the way down here to you. I didn't get that uh, trowel. But uh, like I was saying, get a whole bunch of clay, save it up, then start trading that clay to players for like items that are like really good. That is the most definite way to get stronger, like very easy. Cause I've seen people sell like people sell like um, what is it? Three star mounts, five star mounts for clay. Just really depends on the price range. Some of them are, some players are mentally ill to where they sell it for like a whole bunch. Some players are pretty reasonable. <laughs> it depends on the buyer, honestly. Uh, use price check. Yeah, there you go. Use price check. Just be like, I'm looking for price check on 
five star mount, three star mount, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Five star throne, three star throne, etc. It has all stats. All stat is the best like mount and throne you can get. People will throw up offers, whichever offer is the easiest one for you. There you go. Then you'll have a goal to where you can work towards. Magic Clay is sold pretty often inside of a auction house, funny enough. Uh, let's go to you now. I don't know who that is. The person reveals themselves. Who the hell? Oh. It's a person down there. Oh, I see, I see, I see. This is the boss that I need to go to. Might as well do it while I'm here. to check all my recording and audio just because uh nvidia sent out updates and normally when nvidia updates it changes a lot of my uh audio settings which is never good it changed a lot of audio setting with uh what the hell is oh there she is Oh, nice. Changed a lot of audio settings with uh, OBS, is what I was going to say. Or any recording software that you're using. We'll say this gun is good if you have movement speed. For what I see. If you have movement speed, you're fantastic with gun. So, I need to start investing into into this into that right there that bad boy i don't think about speed is is that movement speed or is that attack speed no that's attack speed that, okay so that's 20 percent movement speed technically 25 if i didn't have the title on so right now in the outside world i'm i'm fine to use gun i'll just have to think a little bit more but yeah Honestly, oh, I just realized something I don't have on my bar. I'm very, I'm missing a very crucial skill. There you are. Hi, how are you doing? I'm missing this skill. Oh, I didn't upgrade the skill yet, too. Uh, isn't it? Wait, doesn't it change, too? Doesn't that evolve? Yeah, this stays no matter what. That's so nice. So I'm completely immune to monster attacks during the process. So that keeps my uh, panther alive. I'm willing to test. I really want to test that. Because that's going to be interesting. Because I don't get hit unless I attack an enemy. So does, does that mean I get free reign inside of dungeons? Because if that's the case, I could just run past a lot of like unnecessary stuff I don't have to deal with. So if I was ever like boss farming, ooh, that's something that makes Archer like the best class for. Gold farming, especially if you do like a full movement speed build and just run through everything. Yeah, that makes Archer like extremely good at that. Once it's at a, once it's evolved at a seventy-two, though, you need that more than anything. Oh, I just missed the turn, but and eh, it's fine.
This is still up. Damn, I thought that was gone by now. Okay. With attack speed? With attack speed, gun is good. I'm not sure without attack speed. <laughs> without attack speed, I feel like it wouldn't be as good. I wish poison stacked. Poison shot, like, poison to actually, like, stack. At least up to three times, that would have been, like, very great. How? Damn, I was about to say, how close do I have to be? I also need a lot of crit for, their, for it to be, like, extremely effective, too. That's another thing. Where's my bullets at? Okay. I only have like 133 left. That's not good. I was about to say, what the hell? Is that a collection item? No, it's literally just the same item I'm collecting. Not useful. Thanks, game. I don't know why. Okay. So, you're a little bit too late to grab my items. Like I said, dude, the sprite gets overwhelmed so easily to where trying to just kill a whole bunch of enemies per second just sucks to do. I hate it so much. I wish I could enjoy just, you know, taking out a group of enemies and not having to collect everything. Well, wait for my sprite to collect everything. Man, that's so annoying. Because you see how long that takes? Why? Because normally what players would do, they would just do this. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Then guess what they would do? They would AoE. Then kill the enemies that way. Then as the AoE thing goes off. Normally it would kill them, but my character isn't that strong. But in the AoE, your sprite would... Do a collection for a set. Okay, dude. Jesus Christ. I say, yeah, I am very slow. Damn, man. Without moving speed, you definitely get ran the hell down. Jesus. <laughs> I was like, I could have sworn I was faster than them. All of a sudden, that bear was just like, you know what? I'm just going to turn on the burners now. <laughs> I'm all of a sudden as fast as you are. Because you called me slow, and I'm going to prove you wrong. I didn't go turn in the better quest. Man, it's fine. But it really depends on the player. If you're in a, like, say to, like sell a trade. Some of them take gold, some of them take um, clay. Most of them take clay now. The game has just changed like that much. For most players.
You see, I would take a weapon that gives like attack speed and 50%. Well, I wouldn't say 50% movement speed because that sounds very, excuse me, very busted for like keep away. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little hiccup there. But at least something that increased movement speed and attack speed. You know, I would enjoy a weapon like that. But so far, all of it's just like attack speed and hit chance. Oh yeah, that's the next like sword I have supposed to show up. That la next two-handed, or do I, did I have the craft out? I think I had the craft out right. Oh, that's a malice one. Chance to decrease stun. Um. No, that's not it. What's this one? Ah, two hand, two handed stuff. That's for mostly berserker. But berserkers mostly use two handed. Oh yeah, there it is, level eighty. Okay. Damn. Now that I think about it, shit. I don't need level eighty sword. I don't think I have level 80 sword down. Sword sprite. Only have level 81. Um, it's either bow or firearm, which I'm pretty sure is firearm. And what was it? Firearm and archer. Archer or armor. Yeah, that's the other one. I get to show you guys how many points you lose when you uh, release a release a sprite. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. I think there are a few like repeat quests. I'm not sure, like how strong it is that gives you a little bit of sprite sprite messenger f reputation. Either that or that was main quest. Or that was part of like the main quest of an area. I don't actually remember. Hmm. Not sure, not sure. Hi, how you doing? Turned in my quest. Damn it, I gotta go all the way back to the bear. Wait, so... Okay, so this is the next scene. Which... Oh, this takes me to the next area. This transports me to... Who just take me? Huh? So I'm if I'm guessing correctly, we go to Snow, right? So his name should be in here. If that is true. Oh yeah, there he is. So yeah, that is the next transition to uh, Snowflake Forest. Fifteen gold, eh? That's pretty decent.
Uh, did he give me misfortune? Target too cl target too close, motherfucker. He is nowhere near me. Like what? I was wondering. I was like, wait a minute. Why aren't my skills working? I look down and the fucking chat is spamming. Target too close. What? Did you guys see that distance? Like, was the fuck, bruh? I need to know. Did anybody else see that distance and think to themselves, he is not that close. He should be in range, right? That is what happens when slopes come into play inside of Grand Fantasia, bro. Dude, that is literally what happens when slopes come into play. Slopes are weird in this game. Because slope play a big deal in line of sight. Jesus. No, it's a long run there, so I'm just going to take this to Paris. Then we'll have one more quest. Then I'll get ready to take a nap and get ready for stream. Let's duel. Hmm. Huh. Anyhow, um, go to the U. Then we go here. Yeah, we go up here. Next. Okay, agility isn't half bad, but my accuracy. See, it only increases by just a tiny bit. Nothing major, though. If you guys ever wanted to see the stats for... Oh, yeah, I have enough. If you guys ever wanted to see the stats for this? Like how much you would actually get? Well, this, if you only focus into items, or is that item? What is this one? Organizer? That's how much you would get. Um, this is what it looks like if you get Collector. Now, Collector gives a whole bunch of stuff. Like, that's actually a decent boost. A very decent boost. So, I recommend any character you're playing, make sure to make their weapon, like all their yellow weapons. Like if you're focusing on level 50 weapons, make all the level 50 weapons. Uh, these on our hand, I'm about to say these accessories, are, like I said, <laughs> this is stupid. They are out of reach. For a long time. These aren't good. Unless you reincarnate. If you reincarnate. They are perfect for you. Otherwise. Once you're like very high level. They are they are freaking useless. Well then again. No they can be. Um, fortified. They can be enhanced. So, technically, they're not useless. Well, no, technically they are. Because... Yeah, the current ones I have is 44. So, yeah, if I ever got, like, 100 and stuff, it would actually scale a lot higher. But it really depends on, like, what stats you would get from each of these accessories.
Damn it, firearm. Why can't you get like a close up ability? Well, I guess, damn, rapid fire seems like it has a distance on it. Like a very short distance. Like it just can't be all up in your face type, type of ordeal. Does each, like, I was about to say, does each skill have, like, a distance that can be used at? I don't think so. I wish it, they did the thing that, um, that World of Warcraft did. It would show you if you are in range. Because it would change the, the num, it would change the color of the numbers of your hotkeys right here. So if I was in range of using my one it would be white if i'm not in the range of it it would be red i said that seemed like a very useful feature We got two shots left. That's crazy. Damn, that's crazy too. I ran out of it instantly. Back to using bow until I get some. Uh, until I stop at a vendor. I haven't been back to buying any of my new skills either. I'm sure quite a lot of them evolved. I have to go all the way down here just to get chests. Okay. Now, I just use mount. Let me guess, they're going to have me walk all the way back up. I wouldn't even doubt it, to be honest. Oh, that's for... Uh, I thought that was for red weapons. That is for purple. Seal... Yeah, I don't think Cage exists anymore. Oh, I'm looking for treasure chests, not the vases. Or urns. Apparently it said that was one. I guess the other three are spawned over here. That's why. Oh, there it is. Apparently there's a chest right here? I sure the hell don't see it. I don't want to walk all the way back up here, but... Maybe it spawned up there.
I say if not, I'm just gonna have to wait. Oh, there it is. Hello? I was about to say, damn, dude, how far away do I have to be? Yeah, they go all the way back up. I knew it. Stop flooding my inventory with this and this, please. Thank you. Oh, that's more, um... This is more junk for um, the, tr the tr trivia thing. I at least have a lot to sell when I get back there. Back to the uh, actual main city. What's going on in the table scene? There's a terrible amount that's going on. Mm, too bad that's for purple. But still. Actually, my... Now that I think about it, I can actually start using yellow runestones, but I don't have any. So that's kind of sad, you know? Ah, they're selling it. Uh, sprite stuff. These are to increase sprite skills a lot easier and faster. Do I remember this mount? Ew. Wait a minute. This mount looks familiar. Isn't this from another game that they made? It looks very familiar because I know one thing they added was from, um... Yeah, this. This is from, um... Aurora Kingdom. I've seen this in Aurora Kingdom. So that's interesting. Also, this. Ah, oh, nobody cares about that shit. I, I grabbed that from the little, um. Hold on. They give it free from the bonus stuff. If you were to come in here and just push claim, they would they would give it to you. For free, they always do it for free. It's it's a terrible item that you can only use when you're in a relationship. Otherwise, it's it's useless. Hello. I was about to say game. God damn, I hate that that chain that turns me around. Wait, what? Why are you attacking him? God damn it. Toggle. I almost died because of that. That's exactly why I hate toggle. I feel like I fat fingered it probably. Uh strength, but negative crit. That's decent. Alright, so we're done with Oblivion. You have to go all the way up there now. Ah, man. Alright. Well, I finished this video. It'll probably be up by the end of the day. Hopefully. Probably about the, around the same time I start streaming or probably late at night. Whichever one. When I upload this, then um, I'll probably be streaming.
Okay, so what do we have going on here? So, we nearly have 3,000 gold. Um, I gotta go figure out what items... Well, actually... Let's stop by the teleporter, because maybe that will be a lot easier. But, uh, to get to... Snow... Snowflake Forest... You guys don't want to use teleporter. It's just running through here, through Oblivion. That's a normal route we would get to it, but I want to go back to the main city, considering that we haven't been back there in a while. Guess I can head to this dude, make sure he didn't just randomly pop a quest out of his ass. It's like, oh, dude, look at my quest. It's another chain quest. Haha, <laughs> you gotta do this now. I was really hoping I didn't jinx that. Because <laughs> if I would have jinxed that, I would be like, ah, joke's on me. I have to do that quest now. <laughs> also, give me enough time to, like, throw a lot of this stuff inside of. set of auction. Oh, nice. That would have been great if I was an assassin as well. So I would have got, either got my assassin or my uh, archer. Okay, yeah. So that's open for eight gold. Quite a few people here. Oh, I need to go this way. Let's see what I can get my grubby hands on skill wise. I normally don't buy all of my skills. It really depends on what's just useful to me. Ah, that's useful right there. God damn right. Give me that. Give me this as well. This esposito. I'm just kidding. Desperado. Uh, we got that. We got that. Uh, we get this. Okay, so pretty much everything is is gotten that I need. So now I have more movement speed. So now I'm moving at 190. I wanted to show you guys the movement speed if I had like a combat mount. Like for some reason, dude, I just feel like this is definitely the best class just to get around. Well, I, I can't even say for some reason. It is the best class to get around. Oh, that's the one that that person was using. Uh, What's one I've already used and not saving just to trade off later? I think it would be this one, right? No, that's 90. Fuck, dude. I haven't really touched any of my hundreds. Oh, that's one. So now my movement speed is... 235. 235? Yeah. I mean, that's not a, like, significant boost, but... Well, no, technically, in this game, it is a significant boost. We cared about it that much. Sadly, a lot of those mounts you can't get anymore because they were like Spender Events. Spender Events and... Okay, I got the Firearm one. So I got Firearm and... Archer. Archer, um... Sprites right now. But, um, uh, technically you can get them if they show up in, um... Down here. Side of the Sprite table. I... Eh. You know, I liked the fire one for a while until the black, until the, like the purple one, the dark one was like introduced and it looked a lot better. So I was just like, ill. No, I don't want to touch that. Thrones are good for a AFK XP. They're they're not really like they don't really give like a huge amount. They just give you like a steady amount that you can use. 
just if just if you want to go AFK, you're still getting a tiny bit of XP. Doesn't do anything like very significant. I was about to say, excuse me. Ah, uh, I was say if that was my gear, I would have been like, oh, dude, I'm buying that. Yeah, then you got complete psychopaths doing 90k for Toa. Well, I actually no, that's that's nearly the correct price. For what I've seen, most of them go for is 70k. That's well, no, yeah, that's that's pretty overpriced from what I've seen. I'll say. 80k would be decent off that. Okay, so people are starting to sell some weapons again. None of the higher ones now. Uh, the reason you won't see a lot of yellow weapons is because a lot of them are can't be traded status. Which is stupid in my opinion. A lot, you won't see a lot of orange weapons either, because they're also under can't be trade status. Uh, if you guys remember, remember, uh, I got the yellow bow, this bow. This one also is can't be traded, as you can see. This is can't be traded as well. This is can't be traded, level sixty, level sixty-five. If you get the level 65, they become tradable. So I think you're good in that territory. Yeah. Okay, it's level 65 and up. Yellow weapons are tradable. Anything lower than that is not. So, get fucked. That's all I can say. <laughs> I know when I get my level 81 uh, weapon, I'm definitely in crafting the Infernal or the Eternal Flame just for that Malice Decrease. Because that would be great for my pet. But I'm not sure how that... How would that be handled if... If I attack something now. If I start the initiation. Would the enemy just stop t attacking me altogether? And just start attacking my... My pet? I don't think that's, that would be how that works, right? Wouldn't make any sense. I don't know, actually. Hmm. We can just keep these at normal rice. Like I said, I barely ever change these prices. Oh, yeah. I normally put them at two. But then again, they do sell pretty often, so I guess I don't really have to put them at two. Oh, nope, keep that. That's terrible gear. That won't sell. Well, maybe sell its food, but... Oh, why am I trying to sell that? That can't be sold. But, yeah, guys, we're done with Oblivion. It wasn't difficult. Well, except for the last part of it, I almost died. So our gear is starting to get irrelevant again. So once I hit level 81, I will disappear for a few days getting my, my set up. Getting my level uh, 80, 80 gear or set ready. Huh, why does that sell for that? I mean, that's never going to actually, like, sell. That's weird. That was like, free gold? Why? Would somebody even actually buy that? It can't be fed to anything.
Ah, oh, I thought that was like better stuff. Oh, sh that's why I almost forgot. Hey, buddy, go in there. There we go. Ah, <sighs> now onward to winter. Winter Flake Forest. And with that, we have all of our skills up to date, technically. Wait, let's just put my weapon in there. No, no. Wait a minute. Did I do what I think I just did? Like a complete dumbass. Ah, stuck. Okay, no. Oh, it's it's equipped. My brain. I hate it when it does this. It 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 unhighlights it. That always confuses me. I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute. Oh no, did I do something I shouldn't have? That scared me for a second. I was like, oh shit, dude. No. Okay, so. Yeah, archer. Gear. We have mining. Foraging. We just need uh, hunting. So that'll be my next mission to grow go out and grab sooner or later. Uh, I should throw those in there. I say that hunting wouldn't really help us too much. Um hmm. Would bow have hunting on it? There could be a level 81 bow with hunting on it. So I might want to keep a hold of this just to see. Just to go back and see at the altar and see if it has one. Let me sell some of these. Yeah, like I said, potions start to sell for a crap ton later on. If you can collect potions out in the out in the map, they start to sell for a ton. Okay. Anyway. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I will see you guys on the next one. And do it in. He's out.